This video demonstrates how to populate PDF forms from data files using AutoMail Merge for Adobe Acrobat. Use AutoMail Merge to populate a single PDF form template with data to produce multiple personalized PDF documents. Begin with the template PDF form and the data source file. The data is used to fill the template form generating one PDF document for every data record. Sample use cases include filling out government forms, generating invoices or statements, personalizing newsletters, or producing mailing labels. File prerequisites are a template PDF form and a spreadsheet or database file. Software prerequisites are Adobe Acrobat Standard or Pro installed on your computer and the AutoMail Merge plugin by Evermap. How it works. Every data record is used to produce a single copy of the PDF form. What is the output? AutoMail Merge generates multiple personalized PDF forms. A single compound PDF file can optionally be generated and you can email the output PDF forms. The PDF form has fillable fields. Any PDF document can be converted into a form by adding fields. So the workflow consists of getting a template PDF document, adding form fields if necessary, then preparing a data file, and then running the mail merge. To prepare a PDF form, open a template PDF document in Adobe Acrobat. Here as an example, let's assume we are trying to fill W-2 forms for company employees. Open Adobe Acrobat and press the Tools button. Then select the Prepare Form tool. Click Select a File. Select your file and click Open. Click Start to begin. Click Add a Text Field on the top toolbar. Now move your cursor to place a text field in any location. You can give fields a meaningful name and then click All Properties to edit field properties. You can move through the tabs. For example, you can select the Appearance tab to change text font or size. Click Close when you are finished. Make the field a proper size so it fits where the text should go. And repeat the procedure for every field you need to add. Again, click Add a Text Field, move your cursor to place your field, adjust its size, and you can access the properties of any field at any time. Simply right click on it and select Properties. Make sure to make the field name informative. This is because we will use the field names later on in the mail merge. Make the field the proper size so that the text will fit inside the field. Change the field position and size at any time. All fields will be shown in the list on the right side of the screen. It is also possible to paste names into the field name. Make it easier on yourself to have them match. And if a text field needs to hold multiple lines of text, simply go to the Options tab and check the box for Multi-Line. You can write uh, default values into the box to make sure that the field is big enough for your text. Now we can pull this box to make sure the text fits and it will since we can see those numbers, the default values. Specifying default values allows you to make sure it all fits. Exit your form editor when you are done. Use file and save menu to save your changes. Optionally, to enable extended writes, use file, then save as other, then reader extended PDF, then enable more tools. Extended Writes lets recipients fill and save this form. Okay, now name your file and save it. Now this PDF form is ready for the mail merge.
Next, we need to prepare data in Excel. So you can create new or open an existing spreadsheet. So label the first row of each column with the field name and then enter your data, one row per record. One tip is to give data and form fields the same names to save time during the mail merge setup. Now save your spreadsheet and exit Excel once you are done. Now to set up our mail merge. Open a PDF form in Adobe Acrobat. So click File Open and select your prepared form from earlier. There's our PDF. Now select Plugins and then Mail Merge from the menu on the top left hand side. Press the Edit Settings button. Then press the Browse button to choose your data file. Here select Microsoft Excel Worksheet from the list. Select the Input Spreadsheet File in the Open dialog. We named our file Employees, so we will select that from the list of Excel sheets. And now we need to assign the correspondence. This can be done manually or automatically. Click on a PDF form field name to do this manually. Then press Add Field Mapping. Select the data field that needs to be used, the corresponding data field. Click OK or you can press Guess Mapping to automatically assign fields. Mappings are based on name similarity, which is why we wanted to have the match earlier. Now just repeat this procedure for each form field if necessary. We need to do it manually. Then press the Next button to move on. You can optionally complete the rest of these screens or you can skip these non-essential steps by pressing Next. Press Finish to proceed. Everything is now ready for running the mail merge. So now we will actually run the mail merge. We can begin processing since we have our data file and our PDF form. So press Run Mail Merge to begin. Now that it's done, press OK to open your output folder and inspect your results. As you can see, there is one document for every data record. You can examine these output files by opening them, making sure everything's in the right place, everything fits, nothing is missing. And that's it, your mail merge is complete. Please visit evermap.com for additional resources, the product webpage, tutorials, and much more.